Hi, I'm uh, Nick Pope. I'm director of programming for the 10th annual Tallgrass Film Festival. And with me is Tate Ellington, uh, the star of uh, our stubbornly independent gala on Saturday night called The Kitchen. Um, now, Tate, I'm really interested. Um, this was, uh, I, I had the chance to see the film. And um, this is kind of an ensemble piece in a very small lo location. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did that, I mean, and I know that you, you've done stage and TV, yeah, yeah. you've done a lot of acting. Yeah. How is this different from, uh, from your other work? I guess it, like it was uh, very hot, <laughs> I guess mm -hmm. would be the main problem. Uh, and just not being able to see a different like area for forever can kind of wear on you, start to forget where you are after a while. And plus, since you're sort of locked into one room, you really do lose a sense of like all sense of time, all sense of space, all sense of what the hell's actually going on. Uh, but meanwhile, like an absolute blast because something about it's sort of fun. You know, um, it's your space. You can do whatever you want with it, and you just all kind of get together, create it. Uh, the ensemble itself was fantastic. Uh, just an unbelievable group of actors. Um, really fortunate to have everybody that we had. Um, and basically, everybody started bringing their own thing. It was a loose set. We all became immediate friends. Basically, you kind of had to because you're going to be mm -hmm. stuck in a kitchen for you know two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't like each other, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah, you're with Dream of Walker. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now, did you know? Did, so you were you yeah, knew yeah, her like, from the show. Alcom yeah. It's another sort of convoluted thing of where my wife actually knew Dream of, sort of through work in uh, in New York. I was in New York. That's sort of where I met my wife. Basically, I was in another show that my wife had sort of helped work on, but then uh, pretty much she knew Dreamer through that. Next thing we know, me and Dreamer were in Apartment 23 together, mm -hmm. and then next thing we knew we were doing this together, and then actually Dreamer was in my wife and I's wedding. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah, so it actually turned out to be pretty great. So, And then, yeah, Dreamer's is phenomenal. Um, she's uh, actually a wonderful, wonderful person, wonderful actress. And so it's been fun. Yeah, this is now the like third time I've had to, yeah, work with her. So, oh, good. So, yeah. what, what's stubbornly independent for you? Uh, I guess stubbornly independent is actually trying to get an independent film done. <laughs> it seems pretty stupid to me, actually. Uh, I guess the, uh, uh, I don't know why the hell anybody would ever want to do it, but I'm glad they do because uh, I just think there, you see so much today that uh, it gets too many hands in the cookie jar. It gets mm -hmm. uh, sort of convoluted and uh, Thank God, basically, for independent film to be able to people, basically, actually, things like this, mm -hmm. things like uh, directors, writers, actors, producers who are willing to to work on the thing they love the most for absolutely no pay, for no sleep. Um, I think that's pretty stubbornly independent. Keep banging your head against a wall to to get what you know you love and, and make it work. So uh. Right on. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah.